Yet another Tesla software update that has made the car just a little bit better. I'm Frugal Tesla Guy and I'm going to tell you what those improvements are. It's another quiet evening at home and upon checking my phone I had a notification there was a software update available for my car. 20 minutes later, my car had the latest Tesla software update, version 2019.40.2.1. Upon opening the release notes, I was pleasantly surprised by the improvements, such as adjacent lane speeds, automatic wiper improvements, automatic lane change improvements, and auto steer stop sign warning. As stated in the release notes, adjacent lane speeds is a feature in autopilot that reduces your speed when you're going significantly faster than the cars in the neighboring lanes. Now this will be useful when there is heavy traffic or a line of cars merging into a different lane or onto an off ramp. Now when the car detects a line of slower traffic, the lane is highlighted with arrows and the cars are highlighted in gray. If this feature kicks in while you're in autopilot, you can override it by stepping on the accelerator. Now, since I don't live in a thriving metropolis, I wasn't able to find any traffic situations for this feature to kick in. However, after reading about this feature, it reminded me of a bug I experienced not too long ago. While in autopilot, every once in a while, the car would slow down for no apparent reason. And I noticed the car in the adjacent lane, either to my left or right and ahead of me, was highlighted in gray on the monitor. Now, usually I would just tap on the accelerator and the car would speed up and pass. Now this behavior sounds just like adjacent lane speeds in autopilot, but instead of a line of cars, it was usually just one car. So could it be that some of the early coding made it into the earlier software versions? Well, probably not, but an interesting coincidence nonetheless. According to Tesla, they have made improvements to the automatic wiper feature by quote, employing the first production deep neural network trained with over 1 million images for detection of water droplets on a windshield and additional weather cues." Unquote. Now, if at any time the wipers still don't perform to your satisfaction, which I can't imagine they won't after an explanation like that, Tesla recommends you manually adjust your preferred wiper speed, which will then be recorded to further train and improve the network in future updates. Now what this tells me is that it will not train the auto wipers to your personal needs, but rather it will gather data from all Teslas, collaborate that data, and make improvements based on the Tesla community as a whole. Now I'm not sure this is going to satisfy everyone, but for those of you who have been unhappy with auto wipers, hopefully this proves to be an improvement. Personally, I've been happy with them since I've owned the car and haven't really noticed any big changes with this update. Auto lane change is a great compliment to autopilot, but like many others, found the lane changes to be sluggish and in some cases, I'd lose my spot in that lane from an approaching car. Now with the latest update, lane changes happen much faster and are more aggressive, especially when the lane is open. Now if it needs to wait for a car, it will eventually change lanes faster once all is clear. There really isn't much more to say about this feature other than the fact that it's a noticeable improvement. Auto steer stop sign warning. Like its sibling, auto steer red light warning, it's not very functional, but it is one step closer to autonomous driving. Now in order for it to work, you need to be an auto steer or autopilot, but since most stop signs are on city streets, there won't be many opportunities to see it in action since most people only use auto steer and autopilot on the highway. However, I didn't let that stop me and broke out of the box to test it out. Now, before I go on, I would like to mention that I don't recommend trying this where you are. I did stop the experiment as soon as I felt there was anyone in harm's way. So that being said, I was able to conclude that after about four or five attempts, no stop signs were detected. But once it finally did detect a stop sign, there was no mistaking it. There was a loud audible alert, along with an image of hands on a steering wheel, a brake pedal, a stop sign in the upper right hand corner, and an alert message that says, please keep your hands on the wheel, be prepared to take over at any time, 
which did seem a little weird to me because that's the same message you get when you activate autopilot. But once you do put your foot on the brake, you then get a new message in red that says take over immediately. Now Tesla does go on to say that this is not a substitute for an attentive driver and it will not stop the car. Well, I definitely was paying attention with my foot ready to press the brake, especially as I was getting closer to the stop sign. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I don't see this feature as being very functional for the everyday driver, but with it in the latest software, it will add to the database that continues to grow to help bring us closer to full self-driving. Minus a few bug fixes as usual, those are the new features that have been added in Tesla software version 2019.40.2.1. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And do me a favor and click the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you would like to help support this channel, you can click the subscribe button below. Well, until my next video, stay positively charged.